is it your misfortune and not my own? Yippee-ki-yi-oh, get along, you little doggy. You know that the ferry will be your new And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Oh, oh boy. Oh. It's an Indian attack, Whitey. Yo, they come in this way, too. Yeah. Look, Whitey, here comes the Jasper riding like the wind. Yo, he's the one to rest. Get the keys. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, hey, you fellas better head for cover. Them red devils are right on my trail. Yeah. There's a stage station over yonder. Come on, we'll make a run for it. Let's go thunder! Yes, Indian attacks were frequent experiences for the sturdy pioneers of the Old West. Some of the tribes were friendly to the white men. Others resented the taking of their hunting grounds and fought to protect the land they believed was theirs. But the most troublesome of all were the bad Indians who joined up with the criminals and outlaws of the plains to rob and kill the brave white settlers. Assisting the government troopers and local peace officers to establish and maintain law and order were the fearless and courageous United States Marshals. Those colorful days of the old western frontier come back to us now in the thrilling adventures of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Lightning Jim and Whitey were on the trail north of Fort Anderson when they heard the shrill war cries of Indians. Then a rider galloped up on a swift black horse and joined the marshal and his deputy. The three men rushed for a nearby stage station as the hostile Indians came on. Yeah, we got us trickled. If we can hold them off for a while. Sure, but we got to save our ammunition. Now don't shoot till they come in rain. Right. We got to make every bullet count. Yo, I tell you, there was plenty lucky we was near this old stagecoach station. Yeah, you said a mouthful, partner. Look out! You there was a cruise, but... Wait, I see the red devil that's doing that shooting, and I'm a-getting him. Good work, mister. Yo, and there's another one. I get him. Yeah. Got him. Yo, and there's one for you, Lightning. Well, I can't let you boys out to me. Here he comes. Perfect. Yo, three shots and three red skins by Gatley. Hey, something must be loose. Yo, you need to see back from my window, Whitey. Yo, Lightning. She looked down the trail there. Good. It's the Cooper. The lightning the battle is over. Boy, them redskins sure got out to her plenty fast. They sure did, Whitey. Oh, oh, oh. It's out. It's Colonel Steele. New officer in charge of Fort Anderson. Come on, Whitey, let's go outside. Howdy, Colonel. Well, Lightning Jim. Well, don't tell me those red devils were after you. <laughs> well, yes and no, Colonel. What do you mean, yes and no? Well, well, Colonel, me and Whitey was coming up the trail over yonder when we heard some Indian war whoops and shots. And yes? Jasper on a black mare come galloping up and joined us. Wasn't any time to make a run for it. Redskins was too close for comfort. So we took cover in this old deserted stage station. Yo, and back galleys, we was being pretty good, too. I got four of them, you gushy, and I would have got more if you hadn't showed up. <laughs> well, I'm powerful sorry we had to break up your shooting match, Whitey. Yo, that was a good fight, to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you believe him, Colonel? Whitey was plenty glad to see them troopers coming up here. And that goes for me, too. Well, we were taking some supplies to Fort Edwards. Heard the shooting and came up as fast as we could. Yeah, when Uncle Sam begins shooting, the Redskins know he means business. So you just kind of walked into this fight, eh? That's right, Colonel. 
Who is the fellow the Redskins were chasing? What? Here I am, Colonel. Why, Bill! Howdy, Colonel. Well, I'll be doggone. Well, I'm sure glad to see you, Bill. Hey, you mean a Latin here looks like these two fellas know each other. Yeah. We were so busy fighting Redskins, we didn't have much time for introductions. You mean you two fellas don't know each other? Well, I don't reckon we met before, have we, mister? Well, not that I know, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is good. Well, Colonel, any objection to letting us in on the joke? <laughs> not at all. In fact, I consider this an honor. See, this counts, uh, sounds kind of important, like. Well, why do it is important, especially when two famous people get together? Two famous people? Right. Bill, this is our United States Marshal at Fort Anderson, Lightning Jim Whipple. Lightning Jim? Yep. And Lightning, you're meeting up with the United States Marshal at Hayes City, Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok? You've been him, many. Well, I'm so glad to know you, Lightning. And that same goes for me, Double Bill. And Bill, this is Lightning Jim's deputy, Whitey Larson. Howdy, Whitey. Yo, I'm pleased to meet you. You see, Lightning, I was stationed at Fort Hayes before I came to Fort Anderson. Yeah, I see, Colonel. Got to know Bill right well, and I can tell you he knows how to handle those two six-shooters he's got. Right you are, Colonel. We saw him do a little shooting on them redskins. Yo, and there I was trying to keep up with two of the best shots on the plains, by God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you done all very well, Whitey. If ever you need a job, you come down to Hayes City and be my deputy. Yeah, you hear that, Lightning? Sorry you said that, Bill. Whitey's head ain't exactly small, but now he won't be able to put his hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, listen, you fellas, I got me an idea. Ah, it ain't possible. Yo, you two fellas is supposed to be plenty good with shooting iron. Yeah, huh? well, what about it? Well, I think you ought to have a shooting match and find out who is the champion. <laughs> Why, not a bad idea at all, Whitey. What do you suggest for a prize? Oh, I got that all figured out, too. Whoever wins the shooting match, Gets me for their dip pretty much. <laughs> well, we'll try that out someday, Whitey. <laughs> they uh, tell me, Bill, how come you're operating around these parts? Yeah. Well, two outlaws, Flash Felton and Speed Smart, was in jail at Hayes City waiting to be tried for robbing the mail. Yeah, got a reward notice on them back at the office. Yeah. Well, they broke jail and killed one of the guards. I picked up their trail and followed them up here. Then I run into them redskins and the rest you know. Well, I'm satisfied those redskins were some of Wolf Paw's braves. Wolf Paw? Yeah, Bill. Wolf Paw's a renegade chief. Yeah, say, you don't have to tell me nothing about him. You mean you met up with him before? Mm, sure have. He operated near Hayes City for quite a spell. We went after him hot and heavy, and he left the county. Oh, he's plenty bad feller, all right. Yeah, you bet he is. And it's about time we catch up with him. Yeah, it's easier said than done, Colonel. Yo, every time we get him trapped, uh, why, he, he gets away. Say, boys... I'm beginning to put two and two together. What do you mean, Bill? I mean that one of them outlaws, Flash Felton, was mixed up with Wolf Paul and some horse thieving. Mm -hmm. We arrested Flash, but he couldn't prove the case against him. Do you think he'd come up here to join up with Wolf Paul again? Well, well sure. If he's still friendly with Wolf Paul, he's got the protection at the Indian camp. Oh, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. If we can pick up the trail and locate Wolf Paul's camp, we might be able to get the chief and the two outlaws at the same time. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking, Colonel. Mind if I make a suggestion? Not at all, Lightning. Right ahead. How many troopers are you You got with you here? Mm, about 50. How many more back at the fort right now? Oh, uh, 100. Well, here's what I think we ought to do. Send back for about 50 more men and bring them to this camp. Yes? Then what? Well, while you're doing this, me and Bill and Whitey will see if we can follow the trail of them redskins you just chased out of here. Well, I can get the troopers up here, all right. And if we do locate Wolf Paw's camp, one of us will come back here and get you. But uh, supposing you three meet up with Wolf Paws Braves again. I mean, before you have a chance to come back here. Uh, don't worry about us, Colonel. We'll be on the lookout for him next time. If it should happen to outfox us, well, I'm willing to take that chance. How does that sound to you, Bill? Good. You can count on me. What about you, Whitey? Well, if lightning goes, I got to go, too. By golly, maybe I get the chance to see who's the best shot between you. <laughs> <laughs> well, lightning, you can count on the army, too. Uh, I'm sure of that, Colonel. If Lightning Jim Whipple and Wild Bill Hickok and the Fort Anderson troops can't get Wolf Paw on those bandits, well, I'll be willing to admit it can't be done. You say Wild Bill Hickok trail you up here? Yeah, that's right, Chief. Uh. Wolf Paw like to kill Wild Bill, Lightning Jim. Lightning Jim? Huh. Him lawman, 
Sport Anderson. Oh, sure. I know him all right. Him and a Swede deputy. Uh, where friend you bring with you from Hay City? Oh, he's down at Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek? Yeah. When we knowed Wild Bill was following us, we separated and was aiming to meet up at an old trapper's cabin on Beaver Creek. Yeah. You live here before? Oh, yeah. We both been around here many times. Uh, you get friend at cabin on Beaver Creek. Come back here. Sure. Uh, maybe we can help you pick up some guns and horses, Chief. Well, Pa got other plans. Oh, sure, sure. We'll do anything you say. Good. You help Wolf off. Me give you plenty gold. Sure. Now, uh, what do you want us to do? Help Wolf Paw get Wild Bill and Lightning Jim. Oh, thunderful oh, boy. Oh, oh, girl. Uh, Hey, Bill. Yeah? I, I've been just thinking. Uh, you know that black horse you got there looks like she might be a thunder sister. <laughs> well, she ain't as big as thunder, but she can hold her own when it comes to speed. She <laughs> sure can, Bill. Quite a few horses can keep up with thunder, and she's one of them. See, uh, where'd you get her, Bill? Why, well, during the war, Whitey. Had a little argument with a couple of Confederates. One of them was riding now. Uh -huh. And when the smoke cleared away, she was yours, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Black Nell and me have been together quite a spell. Your she's a fine horse, I tell you that. Hey, if you jasters can get your minds off a horse flesh a minute, look over yonder. Your say that's the pass going into Box Canyon. Right. North of here's Beaver Valley. We followed the trail of them redskins this far, and it's my hunch Wolf Paw might be up in that valley. Well, see, if that's true, eh, we ought to go back and get Colonel Steele and the trooper. No, Whitey, I got a better idea. You go back for the troopers and bring them back here to Box Canyon Pass. Yeah, that's a good idea, Lady. Sure, but uh, what you fellas going to do? We're going to scout around Beaver Valley. We'll meet you and the troopers right here at this spot tonight. Is that clear? Yeah, sure. And Whitey, you can make better time by taking a shortcut, you know, up and across Beaver Creek. Yo, uh, good luck, boys. Get up, good boys. Let's go, Thunder. <laughs> It's about time you were showing a flesh. Where you been? Well, that's a long story, Speed. While Bill was hot on my trail when I met up with a party of Wolf Paw's braves. Huh? Lucky for you, it was Wolf Paw's redskins. Yeah. They went after Bill just when a troop of soldiers came by and rescued him. Kind of lucky for him, too. Oh, sure was. If Wolf Paw ever gets his hands on Wild Bill and Knight and Jim... <laughs> Yeah, uh, they'll be looking for new marshals at Hayes City and Fort Anderson. Say, you must be a mind reader. Uh, what do you mean? Why, I seen Wild Bill, Lightning Jim, and his sweet deputy. You did? Where? I saw him cross over the creek a couple hours ago, going north. Oh, well, that means we've got to clear out of here pronto and get up to Wolf Paw's camp. Sure, they was about a mile down the creek hey. when I see... Huh? Get back in the cabin. What's up? Ryder, he's heading this way. Yeah. Holy smoke. Shut up. Here he is. I got him. Yeah. Yeah, he's down all right. You got him in the shoulder. Get his gun speed. Sure. Say, Flash, this hombre is lightning Jim Sweet deputy. Well, it looks like Whitey's in a bad way. What are Flash and Speed going to do next? Listen for part two of this thrilling lightning Jim adventure that follows immediately. Mm -hmm.
And now for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, Lightning Jim meets Wild Bill Hickok. After an exciting battle with a party of Chief Wolf Paws Braves, Lightning Jim and Whitey met another famous United States Marshal, Wild Bill Hickok, was on the trail of two outlaws, Flash Felton and Speed Smart. While Lightning Jim and Bill attempted to find Wolf Paws camp, Whitey went back to get Colonel Steele and the Fort Anderson troopers. On the way, Whitey was shot down by the two bandits. And now we join Wild Bill Hickok and Lightning Jim as they ride up to a cabin on Bieber Crimp. Oh, Thunder. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, well. Uh, well, looks like we've been following the wrong trails, I think. Yeah. We circled back to Beaver Creek. Yeah. This looks like a trapper's cabin. I reckon it is. I think we better go back to the Box Canyon Pass and follow them tracks we saw going northeast. Yeah. Say, look at them tracks on the ground there. Yeah. Fresh ones, too. Sure. Horses and men. And that bush by the cabin is flattened out. Still. Look on the ground there, on that rock. Hmm. Blood. Right. And there's the tracks of a single horse that came up in front. And here's something shining on the ground. What is it, Bill? Well, here. Look. Good Lord. That's why his deputy badge. Yeah, well, I figured it was. Appears like you're running into trouble. Yeah. Let's see what's in this cabin. Sure. Enough for you. No, there ain't no sign of redskins. The footprints was made with boots. Yeah. Appears <laughs> like there's only a couple of them critters. Yeah. And the track's heading out of here. Yeah. Might be the two Jaspers I've been trailing. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking, Bill. In which case, if Whitey did walk into him, they'd take him from ambush. Yeah. Somehow I I can't figure him to be dead. No, no. They just wanted to kill him. They'd have left his body here at the cabin. Right. But them bloodstains prove that somebody was shot and wounded. Yeah, sure. And there was flash and speed. And if they're in with wolf paws... Well, they might be taking him to the Redskin camp. Come on, Bill. We are following them tracks pronto. Let's go, Thunder! Howdy, Chief. Uh, who's this other one? Oh, an old friend of yours, Chief. A lawman. Lawman? Sure. Lightning Jim Sweet Deputy. <laughs> That's right, ain't it, partner? I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> now, you don't have to. We know who you are. Where you get him? Why, he come right up to our cabin at Beaver Creek. We was going to drill him proper, but uh, we figured you might want to take care of him, Chief. Uh... Wolf Paw know what to do with lawmen. <laughs> sure. Uh, <clears throat> he uh, ought to be worth some gold, Chief. Uh, Wolf Paw give gold if you bring Wild Bill and Lightning Jim here, too. Burn all lawmen in Indian fire. <laughs> Oh, Thunder. Oh, no. Steady, boy. Uh, uh, well, looks like we're on the right trail this time, Lightning. Yeah. Down yonder's Beaver Valley. Yeah, and smoke from the campfire. Yeah, but we've got to make sure it's wolf for us. Yeah. Oh, down, Bill. There he goes. Yeah, I see him. We got him. Ah, sure did. The red devil. I reckon he won't be shooting from ambush no more. Yeah. And we can use this army rifle he's carrying. Bill, I know we are on the right track now. This is one of Wolf Paw's braves. Are you sure? Oh, I saw him at Wolf Paw's camp when me and Whitey was caught with the jeep a while back. Remember that scar on his face? Well, then we better hightail back with the troopers. Listen, Bill, I'll go back for the troopers. You keep undercover. Where you can see if Wolf Paw makes a move to leave. Sure. Don't reckon they heard the shots we just fired. Oh, the camp's pretty far down the valley. Besides, the wind's blowing this way. This buck here is an Indian runner. But can't tell. Might be some more of them scouting around. Sure. Good luck. I'll have the troopers at Box Canyon Pass tonight. See you there. <laughs> Then we'll rescue Whitey. They ain't killed him. Let's go, Thunder! What's the trouble, Chief? They find Whitey Eagle Feather. Him shot down on trail. 
Hey, Flay, who's Eagle Feather? One of old Fort Redskin runners. Oh. Your tea, he's Eagle. Now, now, listen, Chief. Uh, uh, maybe it was Wild Bill and Lightning Jim shot Eagle Feather. Me, Tussie. Wolf Park kill white man. Why, sure, Chief. I'll wager them marshals are scouting up here in the valley looking for the sweet deputy. Uh, Wolf Park, big brave now. Go after lawman. Why, sure, and I'll go with you, Chief. And speak and stay here and guard the law back. We go now. What? <laughs> Fox Canyon Pass, Colonel. I see. And you say Bill is due to meet us here? That's right. These trees will give the troopers plenty of cover. As soon as Bill gets here, we'll start north along that ridge over yonder. Here comes the rider. Looks like Bill! Yeah, I reckon that's Bill coming now. Yeah, and he's riding in a powerful hurry, too. What's up, Bill? Oh, plenty. Poor Fort's men is moving down the valley. Are they chasing you? No, but they found the redskin we drilled in the trail. Any sign of Whitey? Yeah, I got close enough to climb a tree and look down on the camp. Is he all right, Bill? Well, he was when I left. They must have drilled him in the arm. He's carrying it in the sling. Thank God for that. Colonel, we ain't got a minute to lose. Right. We'll go after Wolf Paw now. Wait. If them redskins are moving down the ridge now, we got a chance to trap them. Yes? How? Move the troops back of these trees. Bill, you and me will ride across that clearing in front of the path. Out of range, but where the redskins can see us. Sure. You want them to chase after us, right. eh? Right. You sure. let them this way. They'll think we're going in Box Canyon. When they pass here, the troopers can close in and cut them off from behind. Do you, Colonel? Right. All right, Bill. Let's go. Come on, Thunder. Come on. There they are, Chief. Lightning, Jim, and Wild Bill. Uh. Got him. Yeah, but we've got to get to Whitey. Now, wait. Look up on that ridge, Lightning. That's Flash, one of the outlaws I am after. Yeah, reckon he was with Wolf Paw and is making his escape from yeah. the troopers. Maybe he'll lead us to Whitey, Bill. Let's go, come back. Oh. Well, law beds, I reckon it won't be long for Wolf Paul will be bringing in your partners. Oh, maybe so. But I don't think Wolf Paul smart enough to fool lightning him twice, I tell you that. Oh, yeah? Well, if them marshals is around here, Wolf Paul will get them all right. Say, uh, listen, Speed, I'm awful thirsty. I uh, suppose I could have some water. Huh? Water, eh? Uh, sure, why not? This bad arm of mine, they feel plenty hot, by golly. Well, you didn't do my arm no good with your blasted shooting. Here, here's the water. Pink. Oh. <laughs> no, I got to go and speed. <laughs> Blast your hide. Pink, cause I'm wounded in the right arm. I ain't got no left one. Yo, oh, and I can punch with the left one, too. I tell you, I, I got to cover. Good work, Blast. You got here just in time. I think I'm not bad. Yo, yo, sure. This is sort of game of tit for tat, eh? Ah. ah, you won't feel so brave in a little while, Law Badge. This is the end of your trail. Wait, Speed. Wolf Paw run into the troopers. What? Yeah, we've seen Wild Bill and Lightning Jim. Wolf Paw and his redskins chased after him and ran into a trap at Box Canyon. Holy smoke. How did you get away? Oh, I wasn't taking no chances riding up with those redskins to stop a bullet. Uh, I stayed behind. And when I seen the troopers close in, why, I, I tailed it up here to get you. Yeah, yeah, we got to clear out. Well, what are you grinning about, Law Badge? Well, I was just thinking about what they told you, Speed. They uh, bought fool in light than him and wild beer. Yeah? Well, it ain't going to do you no good. Well, maybe not, but shooting me ain't going to do you no good neither. <laughs> Is that so? Yo, you can't beat the law all the time, you know. <laughs> All right, nice speech, partner. You know, Speed, I kind of like to have a part in the shooting myself. Yeah? Sure, no reason why you ought to have all the fun. <laughs> Come over here and we'll both shoot together. 
Then we'll clear out before their marshals get here. All right, but we're wasting time. Adios, uh, law bad. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right, Speed. You aim for his heart, and I'll aim for... Oh, oh, oh. You open oh, him, Minnie. Fight him. See, see, how did you fellas get there so quick? Fight him. You all right? Hey, you. But there was plenty close, I tell you. It sure was. Are the both dead, Bill? Yep. Both of them drilled right through the heart. Yeah, did you, you both shoot at the same time? Yeah, buddy. I got the big Jasper and Bill got the thin one. Oh, that's too bad. What do you mean it's too bad? Well, you both shot at the same time and you, you both got your man in the heart. So I still don't know which one of you fellas is the best shot. <laughs> Colonel, what, uh, what happened to Wolf Paw? Don't know for sure, Lightning. When we rounded up those redskins, Wolf Paw was gone. He must have backtracked and slipped through the line. You oh, that Wolf Paw slipped me feller, I tell you. Uh, we got most of his braves, and that ought to slow him up for a while. Yeah, but it's my hunch we'll be hearing from Wolf Paw again. Yeah, well, I'm agreeing with you on that, Lightning. See, I just thought of something. What's that, Whitey? Uh, 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 which one of the horses is the fastest? Uh, Black Nell or Thunder? Well, Whitey, when me and Bill raced up to the camp to get you, both horses got there at the same time. So I guess we better call it a draw. Yeah, well, that suits me. Well, Mr. Vile Bill Hickok, uh, I thought I would like to be your deputy. But since there ain't no difference in the horses and the shooting, I think I better keep on working for lightning him. <laughs> <laughs> And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.